Hey there, my name is Jonathan with the Pi Calendar team, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a custom meta field, such as one from Advanced Custom Fields, to show the start date for your event using Pi Calendar. So normally in Pi Calendar, and as you can see in the example on your screen, all of these posts have a start date and a start time set via the Pi Calendar meta options right here. But you might have use cases where you want to use an ACF date time picker, like right here, and optionally you can also have an end date and time as well. So to do this requires just a little bit of custom code that we've provided for you, and I'm going to walk you through how to set that up so that you can use your ACF date time picker field instead of the PyCalendar meta options. So in our documentation or found in the video description, you will be taken to this doc here. And if we scroll down, then you'll find the code that you need. So of course, we're going to add this to our themes functions.php, or you can add it to a custom code snippet plugin. So I'll just go ahead and copy all of this. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and use WP Codebox to add this code snippet. And whether you prefer to do that, use a free plugin like code snippets, or if you want to add it to your themes functions.php, all of those options are totally valid and will work. So let's call this use ACF for Pi Calendar. And then what I'm going to do is just paste in this snippet. I'll go ahead and click on the little format code to clean this up a little bit. And there's a couple of things we need to look at here. So all this code is doing is telling PyCalendar to look at our custom ACF field key instead of the actual Metabox options. So what we need to do real quick is in ACF, let's go to our field group. And what we'll do here is figure out what is the name of the field we wanna use. So again, remember I've mentioned a couple of times now that these are date and time picker fields because Pi Calendar needs both a start date and a start time. So in this particular case, I'm just going to click on start date. And what that will do is copy it to my clipboard. And what we need to do is just go ahead and replace this custom event start here. And what this is saying is that if this key exists, then it's going to use this information instead of the Pi Calendar fields. Now, what we need to do is just simply scroll down and for our start date and time, we again just need to go ahead and replace that. And then for our end date and time, we just need to go ahead and change this to end date like so. Now we can go ahead and save and we can turn this snippet on. And then if we refresh here, we're going to see quite a bit of change because these posts are going to switch from our Pi Calendar meta fields to our ACF fields. So there we go. There is two of the posts. So if we take a look at this local art exhibition, we can see that it's set to July 18th to July 22nd. So let's view this post. We will simply edit this and there it is right down here. So July 18th and July 22nd. So in the case where you already have ACF fields for your events and you prefer to use those over the Pi Calendar meta options, then this tutorial is gonna help you do so. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us or visit our website at pycalendar.com for more information. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a future tutorial.